layered by gender. So any any option that we choose next, uh, the output is going to be output based off whether you're male or whether you're female. Okay. So let's run this particular this particular uh, graph again. So let's go to graphs. Let's go to legacy dialogues. Let's scroll down and let's choose scatter dot plot. It's still a simple plot that we want to produce. Uh, we've already defined what the X category is and what the Y category axis is. Uh, X axis, the independent variable being previous experience. Y axis, the dependent variable being beginning salary. Okay, so let's just hit OK on that. And what we should get is we should get two scalar plots, one for males and one for females. Okay, so now here we go. We have the female scalar plot and we have the male scalar plot. Uh, like when we had everybody together, we sort of seen that horizontal band of, of observations. It's not as pronounced here in the female uh, plot, but it's sort of, you could sort of argue that it is still slightly there. Okay? It's a little bit more pronounced here in relation to the male observations. Once again, let's click on the female chart and let's put line the best fit to see whether there's any, I suppose, significant slope. Or let's say if there's any uh, if there's any main observable slope with respect to the line of best fit. So let's put the line of best fit in here. Clicked on the female chart. Clicked on line of best fit. And once again, you can see that that line is pretty shallow, which seems to be evidence to suggest that whether you, when you're female, that previous experience doesn't influence the salary that you begin with. Okay. Whereas when we look at the male one, once again, if we double click here. And if we put the line of best fit on here, it's still shallow. It's actually slightly negatively sloped, uh, but it's still very shallow, which once again would indicate that previous experience does not is not does not influence your beginning salary. Yeah, for the males. Okay. Now, what about we know that these particular employees fall into three particular different types of job category. Okay. Uh, if I just go back into our data set, okay, you can see that we have. Job category, we have clerical officers listed down here. Uh, we have managers. And we have, just scrolling down, we have custodial officers. Okay, So I wonder, based off the job category, okay, is there any significant or is there any observable association between previous experience and, let's say, previous experience and what we have is the beginning salary. Okay. This time I'm going to split the file, data, split file. Okay. I'm going to split the file. Uh, well, we could do two things here. We could split the file based on gender and also on employment category. Okay, so let's do that. Okay. So we're splitting the file based on gender and employment category. So actually what we're going to get is we're going to get output for males who are clerical, males who are custodial, males who are managers, females who are clerical, females who are custodians and females who are managers so we're going to get six scalar plots out here once we split the file in this way and we can continue to add groups in here which will produce more and more different i suppose let's say combinations yeah of the outputs okay so let's just hit okay on this okay here we go we hit okay and let's rerun i'll just close this down here don't need that uh, let's rerun our graphs again Go to graphs, legacy dialogues, scatter dot, simple scatter dot. Let's define our variables are the same previous experience, beginning salary. Let's hit OK. And this time, what we get is we get a lot more outputs. Okay, so there's a lot more outputs pr being produced here. Okay, once again, let's put lines of best fit here. So I'm going to double click this, this particular scatter plot here are females whose employment category are clerical officers. Yeah. So I'm going to double click on this and put a line of best fit on it. And once again, you can sort of you can sort of see, you can sort of see that although it's not as shallow as the previous lines, yeah, it's still positively sloped. But there seems to be a small a small amount, if if very weak, yeah, the relationship between previous experience and beginning salary for females who are clerical officers. Moving down, let's have a look at the females who are managers. Let's keep in mind here that there's not many observations here, okay? So we have to be careful in relation to whatever uh, inference that we make. Although I won't be making any inferences, this is purely descriptive, okay? So I'm going to double click on this. I'm going to put the line of best fit in, and there you go, okay? 
So actually, what this seems to suggest, you can see that this isn't like what we've seen previous with a shallow positive slope. This is this slope is more defined. It's steeper, okay? Which would be evidence to suggest that if you're female and if you're a manager, that the more experience that you have, the higher your salary is going to be, okay? Albeit that female managers, that their salaries are between sixteen thousand dollars and up to twenty thousand dollars. Okay. Moving down, when we have a look at the male clerical officers, when we double click on that we put the line of best fit in once again that's very very flat indicating evidence to suggest that there's no association between previous experience and beginning salary when you're male and you're a clerical officer what about male custodials when we double click put the line of best fit slightly negative but still very very shallow that would be evidence to suggest that there's no association between previous experience and beginning salary when you're male and a custodial officer what about the male managers well let's Double click on this and put a line of best fit in. And once again, you can see a similar trend to what we've seen for female managers. Okay, uh, What we see here is that there is a positive association between previous experience and beginning salary, which would indicate that the more experience that you have when you're a male and when you're starting off on a manager, as a manager, the more experience that you have, the higher your salary is going to be, or the higher your beginning salary is going to be. Okay. So, uh, guys, once again, this was a, a, a very short video on how to produce a scatter plot, and uh, more importantly, how to produce scatter plots and how to delve deeper down uh, into the observations to see. Albeit at the start, when we produce our initial scatter plot, when we look at all observations, there did not seem to be any trends. But when we delve down deeper, adding in more levels and uh, based off other variables and other groupings of variables, uh, we did actually find an association. And that association was really with respect to the gender and people, their employment category being managers. So irrespective of whether you're female and a manager or male and a, ma and a manager, uh, there is an association or there seems to be a descriptive association between previous experience and beginning salary. Whether you're male or female and you're a clerical officer or a custodial officer, there doesn't seem to be any evidence to suggest that there is an association between, between those variables. Okay. Uh, once again, guys, uh, this was uh, Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at National College of Ireland, and I hope this video uh, was somewhat helpful.